Good evening, I'm Lenore Modou. This is Africa 54. U.S. President Barack Obama departs Thursday on a highly anticipated trip to East Africa. Mr. Obama will arrive in Kenya Friday, the homeland of his father, as he highlights growth in American economic links with Sub-Saharan Africa. The president will attend the Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Nairobi. Some of the people in his father's homeland are hopeful Mr. Obama will make some less official visit to the villages in Kenya, possibly stopping by the home of his grandmother, Sarah Obama. And Kenya is also a critical U.S. ally in the battle against the Somali-based militant group Al-Shabaab, which massacred 148 people in April at a Kenyan university near the Somali border. President Obama's discussions in Nairobi with top Kenyan officials are almost certain to address the nation's concerns in the fight against terrorism. For more insight on the present visit to Kenya, Africa 54's Vincent Makori joins us live from Nairobi. Benson, welcome to the show again. Well, thank you very much. And as you mentioned, uh, Lenore, indeed excitement has reached a, a crescendo level here in Nairobi. Just a day before President Barack Obama arrives in Kenya, I sat down with uh, Kenya's Foreign Affairs Minister, uh, Amina Mohammed, and she said uh, this visit is very, very important for Kenyans. Well, for us, uh, it's a defining moment. It truly is a defining moment. Uh, it's the first time that an American sitting head of state uh, is visiting our country. Uh, it hasn't happened in the 52 years of independence, you know. Um, and so it's, a, it's really a big and huge moment for us. And uh, all these years, we didn't have the issues that you're referring to, right? But still, none of them came, OK? So I, I think it's, uh, he's coming now is uh, just recognition of the kind of leadership that we have, a pragmatic, energetic, passionate, driven uh, leadership, uh, but also a recognition of what uh, Kenya has been able to achieve right? uh, in this, you know, in the last, uh, last few years. Our collaboration, um, especially on security, uh, is historic. It's, it's been there. Of course, we've enhanced it a lot in the uh, last few years because of the um, of the threat, the global threat, actually, uh, that we all face. And it's, um, you know, insecurity is not unique to this part of the world. And uh, Vincent, clearly security is on the agenda, as Mrs. Uh, Mohammed mentioned. What other topics of discussion did she talk about with regards to what the, her ministry is hoping from, uh, that will get out from this uh, trip? You know, uh, there has been, um, you know, uh, no shortage of expectations here. But indeed, that issue of counterterrorism uh, uh, is really at the very top of the agenda. Uh, there have been reports. In fact, uh, the government of Kenya today uh, did condemn CNN for reporting that uh, Kenya has become like a bed of terrorists. And therefore, uh, the country is very concerned about the image uh, that it is such a dangerous place. Uh, they want to do everything they can in collaboration with the United States to really uh, stem uh, terrorism activities in this country. And of course, uh, trade uh, is, is, is very important, as uh, the minister uh, says, and you'll hear a little bit more in uh, our next uh, segment of that interview. Uh, they really hope to see the U.S. Uh, business uh, expand in this country. They want to see more investment. They are hoping uh, that this is going to be that moment that will uh, really define the future of Kenya and uh, the United States in terms of uh, collaboration in, uh, in business. Now, uh, we talked about uh, the fact that a lot of people are anticipating and looking forward to this trip. Now, in Nairobi, some people have expressed concern and frustrations, actually, in terms of the way uh, the, the whole visit is being prepared. Tell us more about that. Indeed, uh, while people are very excited, they're looking forward to uh, seeing President Barack Obama, uh, they are also extremely frustrated by the measures that have been taken uh, in, in anticipation of his, uh, uh, his, his visit, his arrival. For example, the closure of roads around the city. Uh, in, uh, <clears throat> in many parts of the city, people will be completely cut off, or people may not be able to cross over from one side to the other. 
tomorrow, for instance, some schools are closed um, to, you know, to make uh, it easier for the kids who cannot easily access the school. In terms of security, some people also feel like perhaps the United States has taken over uh, security in this country. Uh, so there's that part of uh, f uh, frustration in this visit, but uh, for some, it is a small price to pay uh, for the visit of a great son of this country, President of the United States. Very quickly, Vincent, what do your sources tell you in terms of if President Obama will visit his family and his grandmother? Nobody knows that. Uh, in fact, uh, that region, that part of the country is right now really uh, ready to receive him. They have made all necessary preparations. They are even scrambling to uh, kind of get him visit which particular, you know, particular areas of that region. But there's no word whether he will or not visit uh, that particular region of the country. If he does, that will be one of those surprises. People are hoping that will happen. We're keeping an eye on Grandmama Sarah. Thank you so much, Vincent, for the reporting. <laughs> Definitely. And that was VOA's Vincent McCurry reporting live from Nairobi.